Okay, in this video, I want to write the script for the loan info. So in this sec uh, section, what I want to do is I want to output the loan amount, the number of months, basically all the information the user enters in from over here. But I also want to output the monthly payment and the total monthly payment based on how if they made an extra payment. Uh, so that's all I want to do in this video, which will take a little bit of time just because of the, uh, the how much we got to write in the script. But let's get started. All right, so all this stuff is going to go into the loan info part. All right. All right, so where we left off, we validated the user's loan information. And then if all of the information was validated, it went through all these ifs, it outputted validation complete. And then we ran the function calculate, which is what we're about to write now. OK, so function calculate. Now I'm actually going to take in some information which is going to be sent over from the validation function. So what I want to send over is the loan amount, months, the rate, and the extra monthly payment. Now um, I'm not going to go over exactly what's why this, well I'll mention it. For example, at this point right now, if I were to, you know what, let's do it. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to alert loan amount plus extra. I'm going to show you what happens when you were to, if you're going to add these two numbers together. All right, so let's do that. Uh, I might actually get an error, so let me, let me write these in first. Okay, so let's see what happens when we, we run this alert here. Okay, so let me just, we need some real numbers, otherwise it'll give me an error. All right, so let's, let's do some nice numbers. 100, and we'll say 50. So if I calculate, all it's going to do is it's going to alert what 100 plus 50 is. Okay, now math says 100 plus 50 is going to be 150. But that's not what's going to happen. Okay, did not run. Let me uh, go check why. Probably because I can't, I can't throw this alert in between two two if statements. So let's move that in here. Okay, let's see what happens now. All right, so 100. Just make up some numbers again. Logic says 150, but what it gives me is 10,050. Okay, so that's that's clearly not right. Something is going on. Now, what validation complete? So what's happening is when I alert this, what it's doing is it's it thinks loan amount, which is 100, but it thinks it's a string that says 100, and that uh, extra we said was 50 but it's writing it as a string. So what happens is when you do a string 100 plus a string that says 50, it's treating these not as numbers, but actually as strings. It's a string that represents a number, but it's still treating it as a string. And so this plus sign, what it is, is it's an append. It means take 50 and append it to the back of 100. So not add them, but actually just attach them together. And that's how you get this. So I got to deal with that right now. So when I'm entering, or I'm sorry, when I'm sending over the information from validate over to calculate, I need to make sure that these aren't strings containing, like representing numbers, but actually numbers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this parse float around the loan amount, parse float around the interest rate. What this parse float does is it's much like parse int. If it truly is a float, then what it's it's not going to change anything. All it's going to do is if it's it's going to do this. If loan amount equals string 100, then parse float of loan amount is actually going to take the string 
100 and turn it into the legitimate float 100. So it doesn't actually change the context, but it will change the, the type. So it's going to change it from a string to an, uh, a float. And so what I'm going to do is for months, I'm going to do parse, because I don't need it to be a float, I need it to be an int. So now when this information gets sent over, uh, all the math that I want to do with it will work, because it's it, they're now going to be numbers, and they're not going to be strings representing numbers. Okay, if none of that made sense, I'm hoping that it did, but none of it did, just, just write that in and you should be okay. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write out the formula for us. Uh, what I do need to do is I'm going to write monthly rate equals, I don't want monthly rate, um, let's do I. I equals rates divided by 100. And I need to do that because this number here is the interest rate, but it's written as a percentage. I need it written as a decimal. So if you want to change a percentage to a decimal, divide it by 100. All right, so now I'm going to write out the monthly payment. So variable payment, well, let's just call it monthly payment. So monthly payment equals Okay, and then you can try to follow if um, you can probably find this formula online. If not, you can always send an email. I can do a video on what's actually happening here. But for now, you only really need to write this down. Uh, by 12. Okay, that should do it. So that's our monthly payment. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to alert uh, the monthly payment to make sure that we are okay. Now before I do that, I don't need this alert validation complete anymore. So I'm going to take that out because otherwise it's going to keep showing up every time I run the script. Okay, so let's go check this out. Oh, what I also want to do is I want to get rid of these values of A, because again, I don't want them anymore. They served their purpose back in a previous video. Okay. Okay, so let's, all right, so let's clear this. All right, so 180,360 months or 30 years, 6%. Oh, well, it's just the back of it. Let's see what happens when I do this. This should give me an error because plus six is not a legitimate interest rate. I'm not working, so let's go find out why. Okay, so some stuff went wrong. Uh, I spent a little bit of time trying to find it. Things that I did find um, was down here where I had the parse float loan amount. I spelled parse float wrong, so that was messing up. I'm not sure if there was anything else. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to Keep it right here. You can pause it and just make sure that everything you have is the way I have it down. And then if you're still not, if something's still not right um, because I changed something and didn't, because uh, I, I might have changed a, quite a few things. I don't know. But hopefully you got all this down. So let's let's go ahead and try it again. So let's save. Okay. So I think I had like plus six, and then I tried calculating it. Well, it's gonna. Well, it told me the the amount, but the reason is is pl the plus sign the the parse it actually treats plus six as an actual six. So, like if you did times six, then it's going to give me an error. Please enter in a valid interest rate. So, okay then. Well, anyways, the function works though because that was the whole point. Notice that it does give me a monthly payment, and this is the correct monthly payment. However, I want it to say one thousand seventy nine. I don't want all this other stuff here. I want it rounded to two decimals. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a function that rounds it to two decimals. Now you can find a couple online to round to two decimals, uh, but since I'm I'm going to use the same one I've, I always use, so let's come down here and let's write the function to round. Okay. 
There we go. So function round is going to take in two parameters, the number that you're sending over and then the number of decimal places you want it rounded to. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to return. Okay. And then here's what I want it to return. Math.round. Be very careful with, there's a lot of parentheses. Okay. Let's see. Divided by... And you might actually see this done a couple different ways, and that's fine. This is just the way that I do it. Okay, I think that's it. Um, just making sure all the parentheses close off. I don't think I need this one. Okay, does that work? And I might need one back here. Maybe not. All right, well, let's just see if this works. So instead of alert monthly payment, what I want to do is I want to alert round monthly payment to two decimals. So let's see if that works. Clear. It's 180,000. Okay, so this should give me 1,079.19 cents. So it does. So it works. Great. All right, so now we just have to write out the HTML to display all the information. Okay, so I can get rid of this. All right. Um, now, all this is going to be done a little, hmm. I mean, if you haven't done it like this before, it's going to look a little weird, but hopefully, hopefully it makes sense once I'm done. So what I want to do is I want to store, well, I need to make a table, and in this table, I want to be able to display all the information to the user. The problem is, is that I want to send that, that table, the HTML code, through JavaScript to, um, my loan.php down here. Okay, so this is where I want the HTML to show up, but I got to send it through JavaScript. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a document dot get element by ID. Uh, let's see, info. No, what was it? It was sorry, loan info dot inner html and that's going to equal spelled id wrong there we go and that's going to equal what i'm going to call info now this info is a string containing all the html table code all right so i'm going to do that right up here and since we're running out of time, I'm probably just going to have to make a separate video for this. So I will be right back.